Hey guys, so this week's video is all about how to prepare before you go and adopt a chinchilla. So we'll be talking about all the stuff you need to prepare beforehand and have ready before you go pick up your furry friend. And thank you Megan from Instagram for suggesting this video idea. I know a lot of you have submitted video ideas and I've not forgotten about you. I've been keeping them all on a list and I'll try to get back to you as many as I can. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so you've decided to adopt a chinchilla. There are a couple of things you should have ready before you bring your chinny home. So first, you should have your cage all ready and set up. You definitely want to buy a cage before you get a chinchilla. Otherwise, where are you going to put them when you bring them home? A lot of chinchillas might be stressed when you first bring them home. So you definitely need to have a cage to put them in. And your cage needs to be at least two levels. You can see one level and the second level. It needs to be at least four feet because chinchillas love to jump. And you should probably have all the stuff that you need ready to go in your cage. We'll go through all of that later. And you should probably have a carrier ready when you go pick up your chinchilla. So a carrier is basically like a very small cage that you put your chinchilla in while they're in the vehicle with you. Some breeders will sell them, but I'd make sure to always ask before you just assume that um, they will have a carrier for you. The carrier doesn't have to be big at all. It's just somewhere that your chinchilla can stay and be safe while you drive them home. So I actually don't have a carrier to show you because I don't have one. Um, for me, I actually have a parking lot right next to my house. So I just walked over there and met my breeder. Um, I brought this big hut. If you've seen some of my previous videos, you've probably seen that big pink hut. So I just put Pandora in that hut and um, I brought her home. It was like a, a one minute walk, so it was fine. But if you're going to be driving and bringing your chinchilla home, it's best that you do have a carrier. That way it's less worry for you and also less stress on the chinchilla. The next thing that you'll want to have ready is your food and pellets. These are the chinchilla pellets that I use, but some other brands that you can also find at pest stores are Oxbow and Missouri. Those are the two recommended ones. And I would use the pellets that are specifically designed for chinchillas because chinchillas need to have a lot of specific nutrients in their diet. So I would recommend the high quality chinchilla pellets. Other than the pellets, your chinchilla will need hay. Um, I recommend you get some Timothy hay from the pet store or you can go to your local farm and pick up um, a lot of hay in bulk. That's usually the cheapest way. I got my hay from AZ Chins and Pandora loves this hay a lot. She'll eat it immediately after I put it into the cage. Actually, let's see if she wants some hay right now. Come on. See, she loves this hay a lot. <laughs> Um, and you will need a hay sack. Uh, you can either make one or buy one. For me, I made this hay sack. It literally took me like 10 minutes, um, but you'll have to have somewhere to store your hay. And also you'll need somewhere to store your food. For me, I have this china dish that I put all of Pandora's pellets inside, but yes, you will need somewhere to put the food. And also a water bottle. Obviously they will need to hydrate. So I just have this glass water bottle that I use for Pandora. It's been working pretty well and Pandora loves to drink from there. So you'll also need to have some bedding ready. I recommend that you use fleece liners because they're going to be the cheapest in the long run and also the easiest to maintain. You can see that I've sewn this myself. Depending on the dimensions of your cage, you just have to cut out some liners in the size of your cage or you can also buy some online. I'm sure there are a lot of Etsy owners that sell these liners. Next, you want to set up a play space for your chinchilla. For me, you see I have reserved all this area for Pandora to have her playtime. So what you want to do is set aside an area in your house or a room that is dedicated for your chinchilla to play. And in that area, you want to chin proof everything. That means there is no way they can jump out and they will also not be chewing at any of your walls that you don't want to be chewed. But yeah, it is important to know that adult chinchillas need at least, um, I'd say 45 minutes to an hour of playtime, if not more, every day. That way they can stay curious and healthy. So for some of you, that might mean you have to purchase an extra playpen to surround them in if you don't have an enclosed area. I recommend you get something tall, that way they won't jump out and you won't have to worry about them escaping. If you do want to have a closer look of this area, I have linked a video 
up here where you can see I give you a tour of this um, area and also of the cage. And finally, you'll need to buy some toys, ledges and other accessories for your cage. So you can see here are some of my ledges, also some toys, wooden toys, this is applewood stick, some fleece that um, Pandora can play with, she's over here being very very cute. I also have a hiding hut up here and a hiding hut down here for Pandora to hide in. Also a marble granite slab that she can stay cool on. Basically just little toys and things that will keep your chinchilla entertained. Keep in mind that you'll also need a wheel if your chinchilla is over six months old. That is so they can use that excess energy they have stored throughout the day. Oh yes, and how could I forget, you need to have some dust and a dust bath for your chinchilla because you do not want to expose your chinchilla to any water otherwise they might grow some fungus in their fur which is not good. So instead they should have chinchilla bathing dust and you should give this to them uh, I'll say two times a week. So that's all the stuff that you have to know before getting a chinchilla. Oh, and if you're bringing home a baby chinchilla, I'll say around three months, I suggest you go watch my video about how to take care of younger chinchillas because there are some things that you should definitely be aware of. Of course, if you have any video suggestions, let me know down in the comments and thank you so much for watching until the end. I will see you next week. Bye!